Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So today we are going to resume our discussion on uh, the topic of electricity and magnetism. And so far in the previous videos that uh, we discussed on this subject on this topic, we covered the basic introductory concepts related to uh, the subject such as electric charge, uh, electric field and uh, some related basic concepts dipole electric field due to dipole so all of that so I would like you to please watch all the previous videos related to uh, electricity and magnetism okay so we have already discussed uh, about electric field so in this video we are going to discuss about electric field due to a group of point charges. Now we all have the basic idea related to electric field because of a charge. So electric field at any point in space because of a charge or charge group it consists of uh, the, in order to find it out we have to place a test charge okay and uh, the electric field is expressed as the coulombic force exerted by the group of charges or a single charge or a group of charge divided by the test charge okay that is the basic uh, expression of electric field so in terms of vectors it can be expressed as this now when it comes to a point charge if we say that we have a point charge single point charge which is placed at O let's say plus Q okay positive test uh, charge which is uh, placed at uh, O and we have to find the electric field due to the single point charge let's say at this point P so in order to find it out we have to place a positive test charge plus Q0 and the distance between them is R okay so here the force the coulombic force uh, of repulsion because both of them are positive acting on this test charge it is given by the expression the coulombic force okay in terms of vectors it is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 okay q q0 by r square r cap okay this where r cap is the unit vector in this direction okay in the direction of the electric field okay that is the electric field due to the single point charge now <coughs> here let us say we extend this discussion and we say that there are multiple point charges present okay and we have to find out the net electric field because of this multiple point charges at this point p so these point charges let's say q1 q2 q3 q4 up to n number of charges or point charges are present and their distance from this point p are r1 r2 r3 r4 respectively so in order to do that again we have to place a test charge here at point p let's say q0 let's say we place a test charge here q0 here okay we have to do that then we have to find the coulombic force then we will find the electric field due to that coulombic force and then we will apply the principle of superposition so here the key concept in finding out the electric field the net electric field due to multiple point charges is the superposition principle okay superposition principle is the key concept here so according to this what it means is that 
the coulombic force which is exerted on this test charge which is present at p will find out the coulombic force due to q1 f1 due to q2 f2 due to q3 f3 due to q4 f4 and due to the nth charge we'll find out the nth coulombic force which is exerted on the test charge placed at p forces they obey force vectors they obey the principle of superposition now as we all know electric field is force divided by the test charge so electric field will also obey the superposition principle okay so here the net coulombic force okay the total coulombic force or the net coulombic force is coulombic force due to charge q1 plus coulombic force due to charge q2 plus coulombic force due to charge q3 up to the nth charge okay that then we have we will find the electric field due to charge q1 as f1 vector by the test charge similarly e2 vector the electric field due to charge q2 is f2 vector by q0 similarly we'll find the nth electric field due to the nth charge as fn vector by q0 and then as this coulombic force they obey the principle of superposition and the net force is the sum of the individual force vectors similarly the net electric field is also the sum of the individual electric fields okay this now we have f1 the force due to charge f1 f1 vector is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 or <clears throat> the absolute permittivity q1 q0 by r1 square r1 cap this similarly f2 the coulombic force due to charge q2 okay due to charge q2 is given by f2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 q0 by r2 square cap okay and so on similarly fn vector the coulombic force due to the nth charge located is given by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 qn q0 rn square rn cap this now the electric field due to the first charge q1 is similar uh, simply f1 vector by q0 which is 1 by 4 pi sin 0 q1 by r1 square r1 cap similarly e2 vector is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 by r2 square r2 cap that is f2 by q0 similarly the electric field due to the nth charge is given by fn vector by q0 which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 qn by rn square into rn cap this is f2 vector by q0 so this is 
So as per this relationship, the net electric field is the sum of the individual electric fields. So here, what we have to do is that we have to calculate the net electric field. That is, the net electric field at P is simply the sum of the individual electric fields to vector plus the nth electric field. So that is simply 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 by r1 square r1 cap plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q2 by r2 square r2 cap up to the nth one which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 qn by rn square rn cap this. So, if we take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 that common it will be q1 by r1 square r1 cap q2 by r2 square r2 cap qn by rn square into rn cap or we can write it as 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 summation equals to 1 to n q subscript i subscript i whole square subscript i cap this this is the expression this is the expression of the net electric field due to a group of point charges located in space and the net the resultant electric field at point p okay this now so here we discussed about uh, the electric field due to gr a group of point charges now let us just discuss some basic things uh, related to electric field uh, which is caused which is generated by a point charge so here we know that the electric field is given by this this expression coulombic force divided by the test charge and which is given by this now here as you see the magnitude of the electric field okay the electric field it is dependent on these factors 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 uh, q by r square r cap so here it is directly proportional to the charge okay which is producing the electric field okay the charge or the group of charges which is present okay so and it is inversely uh, related to the square of the distance between the test charge or the point where the electric field is to be measured and the original charge okay the charge which is generating the electric field so here let us say we double the test charge okay the test charge is double let us say q0 becomes 2q0 so in that case the new coulombic force will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q 2 q 0 by r square r cap which is 2 times the old coulombic force but the electric field the new electric field will be this new charge divided by the test charge which is 2 q 0 which is the same f dash by q 0 which is the same so the electric field it is staying the same okay it is staying the same and this is same 1 by 4 pi 
epsilon 0 q by r square r cap. The electric field is staying same, but the coulombic force it is getting doubled just when the test charge is doubled. So, here the change in the magnitude of the test charge it affects the coulombic force, but not the electric field. The electric field is staying the same because the ratio between the force and the test charge that stays the same. Okay, so this is just an extra point which I wanted to discuss about the electric field and how it is related to the original charge which is producing the electric field and the test charge which is used to test the amount or the magnitude of the electric field and its direction. Okay, so here we have discussed some uh, basic concepts related to electric field due to a point charge and a group of point charges at a point uh, P and we found out that both the things. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.